In this video, I'm going to show you how to shoot a silhouette portrait with a bit of a twist. Adorama TV presents Take and Make Great Photography, where you'll learn how to take stunning photos and then polish them in post-production. Here's your host. Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey and you're watching Adorama TV. Now, in this episode, we're going to do some off-camera flash. If you saw my very first ad episode for Adorama TV, you'd have seen me do off-camera flash outside with Harry. This time it's a little bit different. This time we're back in the studio and I'm going to do some off-camera flash with Freya. Say hello, Freya. Hey. <laughs> we're also going to do a different kind of picture as well. Now at the moment I've got my standard off-camera flash set up. I've got my STE2 trigger and my Canon 580 Mark II flash gun. Let's just see what happens in this kind of setup. Okay, so nice happy smile, very, very good. And we end up with, well, a pretty boring picture. I mean, the whole system works, but it isn't very exciting. So to mix it up a little bit, I'm gonna do some silhouette photography. Now that basically means we're gonna move the position of the light and get a completely different look. Okay, so I'm gonna take my flash here and rather having this at the, at the front, in front of our model, I'm actually gonna put it around behind. And we'll put it all the way down right behind her, like so. Now it's worth just explaining about my 580EX flash gun. It's currently set to ETTL, which means that the camera and the flash are gonna do all the communication. I don't have to worry about that. In fact, the only thing I need to change is the zoom. I'm gonna make sure it's on the widest angle, 24 millimeters. And that should give us a nice flood of light behind illuminating the background, the light will bounce off the background and give us a, a nice bright background, but Freya will stay nice and dark. That's the idea, Let's see if it works. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so here we go, so we'll set everything up and take a shot, and bingo, works straight away. So she's come out completely black, a complete silhouette, and we have a nice flood of light on the background. Now you'll notice that the background isn't pure white. In fact, as we go towards the edges, so it starts to go a little bit gray. That's because the distance between the flash and the background is actually quite small. It's probably oh, less than two meters. The further away we get the flash, the more even the spread of light would be. But I actually quite like that drop off in light. That's the look I'm going for. The only thing I don't like is the fact that when we look at the silhouette, we can't really see any facial features. So, a little bit of a, a change in pose. Uh, Frey, can you just look over to the side? So by making it look at the side, we'll get a different picture. Here we go. Okay, and I'll just take my shot. There you go. And straight away, we can see that looks like a face. We can see uh, an outline, a profile, and that looks just so much more dramatic as a picture. Okay, it's getting better, but it's still not quite what I'm after. So we need one other element. Let's bring a, a little prop into the scene. And my prop is gonna be this. So this is just a, uh, a little paper umbrella. Okay, and this is semi-translucent as well. So we'll be able to see a bit of the light coming through. All we need to do is give this to Freya. So if you wanna hold on to that, that's it. We'll Position it just there. There's a little bit of sort of red writing on there, so we'll make sure that goes in the top right corner. Okay, so I've got my camera and it's a good time to talk about camera settings. So I'm shooting in manual mode because I'm doing flash. I'm using F8, which is a nice middle of the road aperture and that should work absolutely fine. My shutter speed is set just below the flash sync speed. In this case, it's one 160th of a second. And my ISO is as low as it goes, 100 ISO. Other than that, I'm not changing anything because this is an ETTL setup, which means that the flash and the STE2 trigger on the top here will do all the work for me. Obviously, if you're a Nikon shooter, you have your own CLS system. If you have a different type of Canon, the little pop-up flash could replace the STE2. So there's various options you can have to achieve exactly the same result. Enough talking, let's get the picture in the bag. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so here we go. <laughs> I was gonna say smile, but it doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Brilliant, okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. <laughs> and straight away, I can see that is brilliant. That works absolutely perfectly. We've still got light coming off the background. Some of the light is coming through the umbrella, but Freya is still staying as a silhouette. 
Now, if you want to find out more about making silhouettes but you don't want to use Flash, have a look at the Adorama Learning site where you can find information about making silhouettes with window light instead. But for me, this whole Flash system is nice and straightforward and works brilliantly well. Okay, so I'm really happy with the way the photos are looking on camera, but of course the story doesn't end there. Now we've got to get these photos into Photoshop and we'll give them a little bit of a tweak. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so here I am inside of Photoshop CS6. I've got the raw file that I want to edit, and when I open the raw file into Photoshop CS6, I land into Adobe Camera Raw. Now I'm going to do all of my editing here in Adobe Camera Raw. Now, if you're a Lightroom user, then this is identical to the develop module in Lightroom 4. Right, what am I going to do? Well, normally I would think about color, but before I get to that, I can see a little bit too much detail here on the shoulder. The silhouette is working great on her head, but by the time I get to the shoulder, it's not so good. So what's happened there? Well, inside of a studio, I would normally use an umbrella to spread the light around. And because the umbrella is between the light source and the camera, that's exactly what's happened. It's still a translucent umbrella. OK, not one I'd normally use in the studio for lighting, but the effect is the same. It's not a problem. I can get my black slider and I can take my black slider down and that'll make those shadows much deeper. And around about there, I've got a nice deep shadow. I'm back to my silhouette. Right, what about color? Well, I do love a really colorful image. So I'm going to take my vibrance and increase it quite a bit. Now, when I push it up, I, I get a bit more color coming through the umbrella. But I always wonder what happens. What happens if I push things a little further? So I'm going to push my vibrance all the way up to maximum. And that gives me some great yellows and that really punchy red. In fact, I can add a bit of saturation in there as well and really take that high. Now, that's much higher than I would normally work, but I do love what's happening here in the umbrella. Not so keen on what's happening on the background. There's a, a weird color shift starting to appear. Now, I could come to my color temperature and tint and try and correct that, or I can try and work with it. So I'm going to take my temperature and reduce it down by going to the left. And as I do, I'm going to put a blue color cast in. Now, technically, that's not correct. But visually, that works a treat. So that's where we're going to leave it. Now, it's only a very small movement in temperature. But because we've got the vibrance and the saturation so high, the effect is really rather vivid. OK, so I'm happy with the colors and I'm happy with the shadows, the background. Now, this was shot against my rather old vinyl background, and it's been around a bit, and it, it kind of shows. I can see a few kind of weird creases coming in here and there. So I'm going to take my clarity, and I'm going to reduce my clarity, and that will help me to blur out those creases. But in doing so, I've lost detail in the umbrella. In fact, if I increase the clarity, I, I get much more detail in the umbrella, but I get more detail in the background. So how can I have the best of both? Well, let's bring the clarity down to about minus 80. Well, I can do the best of both by using a local adjustment tool. And here in RAW or Lightroom 4, it would be the adjustment brush. The adjustment brush allows me to paint local adjustments like exposure and contrast. I'm actually going to just paint clarity. I'm going to paint it all the way at maximum setting. Right, let's get a brush that's a little bit harder. Let's take the feathering down like that, and I can just paint more clarity around on the umbrella, and that brings back all of that texture on the umbrella like that. In fact, having done it once, I can go up to the new button here, and I can do it again. So I can add even more clarity and build the effect up. And I could keep going, but I think that's probably going to be fine. Let's just double click on the zoom tool. Yeah, that looks great. So I've got a nice amount of detail here on the hair. I've got great texture coming through on the paper umbrella. Right, I'm really happy with that. There's nothing more to be done here inside of RAW. So I can just click on Open Image right at the bottom of the screen. And that will take me out of RAW and back into Photoshop CS6. And there you go. There's my picture completed. I'm Gavin Hoey. Thanks for watching. Adorama TV is brought to you by Adorama, your best source for the equipment and knowledge you need. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. Place your order by 7 p.m. and it ships the same day.
Plus, the next time you're in New York City, be sure to visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. Check out the Adorama Rental Company for professional cameras, lighting, computers, and more. We'll help you make the best selection to match your needs while giving you the knowledge to achieve the best outcome from your rental. Adorama is your complete solution for equipment, printing, training, and more. Adorama, more than a camera store.